day, students. You are all welcome to biology class. Hi, I'm Aweleye Oluwatoyi, your biology teacher for today. The topic for today's lesson is nitrogen cycle, under nitrate cycling in nature. Lesson objectives. At the end of the lesson, students will be able to discuss what they understand by nitrogen cycle in nature. Two, compare nitrogen fixation and denitrification. Three, explain eutrophication and dead zone. Four, relate the importance of nitrogen cycle to living organisms. And five, give examples of symbiotic and non-symbiotic nitrogen fixing bacteria respectively. Now let us enjoy the lesson together. Content. Key vocabulary words. Meaning of relevant terminologies. Introduction. Definition of nitrogen cycle. Processes or steps of nitrogen cycle. Importance of nitrogen cycle. Why past questions and evaluation. Key vocabulary words. Eutrophication. Inert. Assimilation. Nitrification. Ammonification. Denitrification. And dead zone. Meaning of relevant terminologies. Assimilation. It is the process by which plants and animals incorporate ammonia and nitrate into biological tissues. Dead zones. This is the zone that does not have enough oxygen to support most life forms. And organisms in this zone die of lack of oxygen. Eutrophication. It is the excessive growth of plant life or algae in water bodies. This is caused by increase in organic nutrients or minerals such as nit nitrogen leading to the death of aquatic organisms. Inert. It means the element is stable and chemically unreactive. Example, nitrogen and noble gases. Introduction. Every living organism needs nitrogen, which is crucial to life. Nitrogen is written as capital N, using its scientific abbreviation. It is a colorless and odorless element. It is found in the soil, in the water we drink, and in the air we breathe. The air we breathe contains about 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and remaining 1% are other trace gases. The atmospheric nitrogen is inert, so plants and animals cannot use it directly. Hence, there is need for it to be transformed into nitrate via nitrogen cycle. Before it can be utilized and converted to plant protein by plants. Too little or lack of nitrogen results in stunted growths with very small yellow leaves, smaller flowers and fruits leading to low crop yields in plants. While excess nitrogen is toxic to plants and can also cause eutrophication or agar bloom. As with everything, balance is key. What exactly is nitrogen cycle? Nitrogen cycle is a continuous series of natural processes by which nitrogen passes successively from air to soil to organisms and back to air or soil 
involving principally nitrogen fixation, nitrification, assimilation, decay, and denitrification. We will go on break now. Welcome back. Steps in nitrogen cycle. Nitrogen cycle has five main steps, namely nitrogen fixation, putrefaction or decay, nitrification, assimilation, and denitrification. It is also important to note that microorganisms play an important role in each of these steps. Nitrogen fixation. Atmospheric nitrogen cannot be utilized in that form by plants and animals. It has to be fixed or converted to usable form. There are three ways by which nitrogen can be fixed. One, biologically. Two, through lightning or action of thunderstorm. And three, industrially by application of artificial fertilizer. Biological fixation. There are two types, namely symbiotic and non-symbiotic nitrogen fixation. For symbiotic nitrogen fixation, some bacteria such as Rhizobium leguminoserum, which lives in the root nodules of leguminous plants, can fix atmospheric nitrogen directly into the plants and the plants supply carbohydrates to the bacteria. Both plants and bacteria derive benefit from each other. Non-symbiotic nitrogen fixation. Some bacteria such as Clostridium and Azotobacter live freely in the soil and can fix atmospheric nitrogen into the soil, aerobically or anaerobically. These bacteria do not require a host. Physical process. Nitrogen can be fixed during lightning and thunderstorm. High temperature and pressure created in the air converts nitrogen into oxides of nitrogen. Nitrogen 2 oxides undergoes oxidation into nitrogen 4 oxide, which dissolves in rainwater to form nitrous and nitric acid, which later dissociates to form nitrate in the soil for absorption by plants. Then we have putrefaction, that is decay. When plants and animals die, they decay. Their excretory products also decay. Putrefying bacteria and fungi are responsible for decay. They decompose protein into ammonia, carbon oxide, and water. The breakdown of proteins into ammonia is known as ammonification. Then we have nitrification. Nitrification is when ammonia is converted to nitrates by nitrifying bacteria. Two groups of nitrifying bacteria are involved. We have nitrosomonas, which converts ammonia to nitrites. In turn, nitrites are converted to nitrates by nitrobacter. Assimilation. Nitrates in the soil are absorbed by plant roots and converted to plant proteins. Animals obtain their nitrogen from plant tissues. Return of nitrogen to the atmosphere via denitrification. Denitrifying bacteria such as Pseudomonas denitrificans in the soil convert ammonia, nitrites, and nitrates into gaseous nitrogen, which escapes into the atmosphere. 
This reduces the nitrogen content and ends the fertility of the soil. Summary of ways by which nitrogen is made available to soil are through nitrogen vexation, through lightning and thunderstorm, by putrefaction or decay of organic matter, by nitrification, by application of artificial fertilizer, and by application of farmyard manure, droppings, and cream manure. We will go on break now. I'll be back shortly. Welcome back. Summary of ways by which nitrogen is lost from the soil are through action of denitrifying bacteria, through absorption by plant roots, and by action of leaching. Question. Give two examples of nitrifying bacteria. Answer. Nitrosomonas and Nitrobacter. Effects of excess application of fertilizer. Eutrophication may occur due to the excess nutrients or nitrogen and release of untreated wastewater or sewage. This may lead to agar bloom, dead zone, and death of aquatic organisms. Dead zone is when there is low or lack of oxygen in an area to support most life forms. And organisms in this zone die of lack of oxygen. Question. Is it possible to prevent eutrophication? Give reasons for your answer. Answer. Yes, it can be prevented ways. They can reroute excess nutrients away from lakes or bodies of water to prevent eutrophication. Herbicides or agatides can also be used. The quantities or combination of nutrients used in agricultural fertilizers can be reduced. Bioremediation can also be carried out. Bioremediation is the process of purposefully changing the food web in an aquatic ecosystem so as to reduce or control the amount of phytoplankton. For example, a water resource manager can introduce certain organisms to eat up phytoplankton, thereby reducing the population of phytoplankton in water bodies. Importance of nitrogen cycle. It helps to bring in the inert nitrogen, that is, nitrogen gas from the hair into biochemical processes in plants and then to animals. It helps plants to synthesize chlorophyll, which is necessary during photosynthesis for the production of food. It helps to enrich the soil by releasing nitrates and nitrites to the soil. It cleans up the environment naturally. During the process of ammonification, bacteria degrade decomposing plants and animals. It is a key component of many cells, such as protein, nucleic acid, even our DNA, which carries the genetic information. Evaluation. What do you understand by nitrogen cycle in nature? State the functions of 1. Nitrogen fusing bacteria. 2. Nitrifying bacteria. And 3. Denitrifying bacteria in nature. Question 3. What do you understand by eutrophication? Question 4. What are the importance of nitrogen cycle to living organisms? And lastly, compare nitrogen vexation and 
denitrification. Assignment. Draw a notated diagram of nitrogen cycle. Summary. In today's lesson, we learn the definition of nitrogen cycle, processes of nitrogen cycle, effect of excess nitrogen, importance of nitrogen cycle, and roles of various microorganisms in nitrogen cycle. With this, we have come to the end of the lesson. Thanks for listening. Bye.